हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू गो वी एम लैब एन एस सिक्स टी फॉर बिगिनर्स लेक्चर सीरीज इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव नेविगेटेड यू थ्रू अ सिक्योरिटी डैशबोर्ड ऑफ एन एस सिक्स टी मैनेजर यू आई इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर इन्वेंट्री एंड प्लानिंग एंड ट्रबल शूटिंग डैशबोर्ड ऑफ एन एस एक्स मैनेजर यू आई एंड विल सी दैट वॉट ऑल द ट्रबल शूटिंग केपेबिलिटीज वी गेट इट फ्रॉम द एन एस एक्स टी सोल्यूशन सो विद दैट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड as you could see that this is our nsxt manager ui so let's log in to the nsxt manager with our admin user credentials so click here to log in as you could see that we are successfully logged in to our nsxt manager ui and that is the default overview dashboard of our nsx manager ui now so far we have walked you through networking specific dashboard and we have also walked you through security specific dashboard now what we going to go and discuss in this particular lecture we are going to show you about inventory dashboard like what is services context profiles virtual machines as you do see that and then we also going to walk you through with the planning and troubleshooting dashboard so with that let's get started so click on inventory and that is our inventory overview dashboard so the default dashboard as you do see that as when we land on networking security or inventory it actually gives us a overview dashboard of that specific section so that is the overview dashboard for inventory information or configurations so you do see that that's our configuration it gives us information about groups so have we created any grouping object so the the count is zero so we have not created any group so far the next option is about services like what all the services are supported by nsxt solution then the number of virtual machine it tells us that our nine virtual machines are running on this nsx platform 63 context profiles and number of physical servers are zero so we have not integrated any physical server on that infrastructure now i scroll down little bit the next option what do we get it is about grouping objects so how many groups we have created so as of now we have not created any groups so that's the reason the count is zero the next about the identity groups as you do see that so that's a pretty simplistic dashboard as you could see that the next option what we have it in the same dashboard is capacity so let's go and explore the capacity dashboard and you do see that it gives us same like networking and security it gives us a maximum capacity for the inventory objects so as you could see that the number of groups you can create maximum 20000 number of hypervisor host which you can integrate to the infrastructure is number of hypervisor host is 1024 1024 hypervisor host can be part of our nsx infrastructure then it talks about the vsphere cluster prepared for nsx you can prepare 128 vsphere cluster for nsx so that's the maximum capacity now let's go and check out the next option is services so click on the services and you do see that there are 409 services available on this particular platform and if you do see that active directory server https and there's a bunch of services you do see it here the next what we have it is groups so as we discussed there is no group has been created so far if you want to create a new group just click on add group provide the members information and the group will be created so anyway in the subsequent lectures we will be digging more deeper into these every single options and will be understanding what is the use case of use cases of groups and how do we make use of this group object next is context profile so click on context profile and as you do see that there are 63 context profiles are provided by vmware and we use this context profile because it gives us a capability of l7 firewall so that's what context profile is all about it then you have a app ids fqdn based filtering and the url categories so so we will be discussing about this context profile when we go and discuss about security specific services the next what we have it is a virtual machines as you do see that and now as you do see that there are nine virtual machines which are running on this infrastructure so the first section talks about what is the name of that virtual machine on which host that virtual machine is running do we have provided any tags to the virtual machine the next option is what operating system we are running in that virtual machine and it talks about the power state of our virtual machine 
and if you want to get more detail about the virtual machine click on the view detail option and you get the information about the how many network adapter that virtual machine is having it what is the ip address assigned to that vnic adapter what is the mac address and the wif attachment and the port id of that particular adapter so that's what you get a, a lot more detailed information about that virtual machine the next option as you do see that the next option is containers so that's the major difference between nsxv and nsxt nsxt not only has a support for virtual machine but it also has a support for containers as well and that's where we have a namespaces and the clusters and no namespaces found because we have not integrated any of the cluster container solution as of now with our nsxt solution next is physical servers so nsxt also give us capability to integrate physical servers right there to this solution so as of now there is no physical server integration has been done that's the reason no physical server found and the next option what we have it is the tags so tags are one of the very powerful construct which actually gives us a capability to filtering out the objects based on the tags and its attribute if you click on add tag you do see that give the name of the tag and define the scope and assign the object where you want to assign this tag to and that's where basically the tags help you out in filtering out your virtual machines based on the attributes so that's what inventory overview dashboard is all about it now let's move on to the next option which is planning and troubleshoot as you do see that so click on plan and troubleshoot planning and troubleshooting dashboard gives us a troubleshooting tools what vmware has provided as a part of nsxt solution now if you do see that the first option what we have it is discover and plan so if you click on discover and take action as you do see that it gives us an information saying that to gain insights on east west traffic and micro segmentation recommendations deploy the nsx intelligence appliance that is the reason you might have seen that as soon as we land on to this page it was it did not take us to the discovery and plan option it directly take us to the ip fix the reason that did not take us to the discovery and take action page because it requires nsx intelligence appliance to be installed now once we have nsx intelligence appliance installed in our infrastructure that's where we get a lot of visibility and control about our traffic patterns and more insights about our data center traffic so we need to have nsx intelligence appliance to be installed before we go and uh, make use of these recommendations what this intelligence appliance provides us so that's what discovery and take action is all about it the next is recommendation as we discussed nsx intelligence appliance engine is the analytics engine once that engine is in place it will start giving us recommendations to get more insights and visibility in our traffic so the next option what we have it is troubleshooting tools now this is one of the very powerful section provided by nsxt so it gives us a couple of powerful troubleshooting tools to monitor and troubleshooting our networking traffic so the first option what do you see that it is ip fix so ip fix actually stands for internet protocol flow information export ip fix is is like network flow and it's a open standard and it, it actually gives us it actually monitor the flows which are flowing across the network and we use those flows for traffic troubleshooting or network troubleshooting now here we have a couple of options like ip fix firewall ip fix profiles switch ip fix fix profiles and collectors because ip fix is just work as like a uh, there will be a one collector and all of the transport node will be sending this ip fix messages to a centralized collector and that collector will be analyzing and monitoring the network traffic that's a pretty simple implementation of ip fix and it is used mainly for troubleshooting purpose the next what we have it is a port mirroring as you rightly see that so port mirroring is again a very industry standard protocol or method to to mirror the traffic and sniffing the traffic what goes inside our network so as you could see that you can create a port mirroring session like l3 span logical span and that's where your traffic traffic will start mirroring based on the configuration so we will be discussing about port mirroring ip fix a lot more in detail in the relevant troubleshooting lectures the next what we have it is one of the very powerful very innovative tool what vmware has provided as a part of nsx solution is trace flow now what that trace flow does it actually traces the flows between two endpoints for example you want to trace the traffic between virtual machine a to virtual machine 2 it not only trace the traffic 
like what we have at a typical troubleshooting tool called trace route now trace route is a pretty cli based tool whereas this trace flow as gives you a pictorial representation of these two endpoints network flows so that's where trace flow gets really useful really important and one of the most recommended tool by vmware whenever we deal with network troubleshooting issues in nsx world the next what we have it is a consolidated capacity so that's where it gives you information about introspection rules compute manager maximum is 16 then you have a segments which is a maximum 10,000 so it gives you a consolidated capacity of all these dashboard so we have been seeing capacity at the network level security level inventory level now this consolidated capacity a single point where you can get the cap the maximum information about all these nsx constructs and components as you rightly see it here that is where the consolidated capacity is all about it so that's what about inventory dashboard and planning and troubleshooting dashboard where we have walked you through the inventory dashboard we have seen grouping virtual machines containers and all those informations right there in the inventory a dashboard and then we have walked you through a troubleshooting tools natively provided by vmware as a part of nsxt products where we have discussed about ip fix port mirroring and trace flow capabilities and how these tools gets really useful when we actually go and troubleshoot network issues we will be discussing about all these tools much more in detail in the subsequent lectures but as of now we are just making you guys familiar with this dashboard and what are these options are all about it now stay tuned for our next lecture where we're going to talk about one of the very important dashboard is system dashboard and in this system dashboard we're going to talk about all these components which comprise nsx infrastructure so stay tuned for our next lecture